Hey y'all, Sam the Midwest Handyman. Hashtag no makeup, no filter. Um, we're gonna be working on our lamp today. So, I'm really nervous because I don't know how this is gonna turn out. But if it does, if it sucks, we'll just paint over it. Um, sorry, you're probably only gonna get to see part of it. Um, we're gonna be redoing the lampshade. Um, I have base coated this lamp with Rust-Oleum, Forged Hammer, and Paint, Hammer, Primer, in one, uh, Burnished Amber. And I have some red latex, latex base paint, and it is shade, not sure I will link it, oh, Sun, Burning Bush, Burning Bush, guys, oh yeah. Okay, so, I didn't show you, but I will do it in another video maybe, but I I buy these uh, bulk, buy in bulk if you're a project person, save yourself some money. Um, I, I like to trim off the feathery ones. Um, so, I'm going to dip in my paint a little bit, and the reason why I'm nervous is because this is like kind of glossy, and it's a different uh, kind of paint versus what I'm putting on it. So I've got some paint on my brush. I wiped off most of it in the can there, but again, we're gonna use the paper just like the concrete stones, if you watch that video, and we're gonna wipe off. It's a really bright red. I don't know how this is gonna look, guys. We're gonna, oh shit. We're gonna wipe off as much as we can. So a little bit of the white just came back on my brush. I'm going for it, I'm going for it. So. Let me get this stick out of the way here and let's see what happens oh I think it's gonna be okay all right so I'm not gonna go too much there because again I fudged up and I got some uh, white on this red you know what let's just go ahead because it's my show since it's the Sam show okay so I have my brush and I like to just trim off the extras there. And then sometimes I'll come in and I'll do a bit of an angle. All right, let's try this again. So I'm actually going to flip this. I'm going to be smart about it so there's no white paint on it this time. Okay? We're learning together. We're learning together. Don't be so judgmental. This is the south side. We fist fight. Even the grandmas are out here fist fighting in the streets. Okay. All right. Gang, gang. Let's get at it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it. Okay. We're just dry brushing. It's called dry brushing. So, let me see here. I'm wondering if it's not like in my light. Man, forgive the kitchen mess, y'all. Uh, we are moving. And my hot water heater broke, so we're not doing the dishes for a couple days. Well, you know what? Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we'll roll down there and uh, try to get that. See if I can get it relit. I'm hoping that's the problem. I checked the breaker. And uh, that didn't seem to be it. So, I think I like it, guys. I think it's... I was terrified... Okay, let me get, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, you all are getting the whole kitchen mess. Guess I'm not. Guess this is, good thing this isn't a dating app. <laughs> all right, so this, this guy was twisted on me. That's why you see me keep doing that, uh. The lamp all twists together and it's it's rather old. I picked this up at a thrift shop for 12 bucks. The expensive part was the tassel lining that we're gonna put on the uh, the lampshade. So I think I'm digging it. I was I was really afraid. All right, let's see. Let me see if I can do the bottom a bit better for you. 
You know what? Hold on. All right, let's try this instead, guys. I have gotten my tripod and downloaded an editing app so that I can finally put the videos together. So, again, you know what? This is looking a little wet to me, so I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit more paint off of it. You know, I may want to add, because this is a little bit different, I may want it to look more red, but we can always add more. Just like makeup, less is more. Unless you're on TikTok, apparently. You know what? I kind of, I think it's okay. I was, I was super worried, guys. I mean, I'm not going to say it's like the best thing in the world, but I think the overall look, once we get, you know what? I could go heavy on the red. I could go heavy on the red. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. We're doing it. I'm not married. Do what I want. Just kidding. I mean, I'm not, but I didn't mean that in a anti-marriage way at all. Just jealous, guys. Just jealous and bitter and lonely. It's okay. I'll just hang out with you guys all day, right? Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more paint. Yeah, I think I'm going to go heavy on the red. Okay. But, so now you know, when you see all the porcelain painted pieces and the lamps that you always, you know, they're doing that darker color underneath. And then a lot of times, like this one had like green and gold on it. And let's go from the top. And you know what? You guys, I can't even remember if I plugged it in to see if it worked. It was actually meant to be just like a display piece in an auditorium entertainment venue, but it didn't make it, it didn't make it in. That's okay. On to bigger and better things, right? So hopefully it works. I'm sure it does. And if it doesn't, then I guess we're all going to learn how <laughs> we're going to learn how to rewire a lamp together, maybe. So I'm just going to kind of continue up this piece. I don't think I'm going to do a whole video on me painting it um, because we're going to get into the second half where we are um, doing the lampshade. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, y'all, I'm super excited. Uh, it's it's done. I'm, I think I'm going to leave it how it is. The, the lighting in here is not picking it up very good, but um, I think it's going to just look really good when I get the red tassels on. So um, that's why I, I had chosen um, this color as the base because it was very close to the color of the tassel and the... The brown that's in here and then um and then I have a different trim for the top so uh, I'm super excited I just um uh, you know I've had a frowny face lately and I needed a little win oh also I made this shirt yeah it was a tester it was my first heart on this and a uh, baseball shirt awesome all right y'all let's work on this lampshade oh drop my glasses all right, so I was going to originally put that stuff right over it because I was afraid to pull this off and damage it, but then it actually started coming off on its own, so we're going to see what happens. So, um, 
I'm very gently going to pull this off. If it, if I hit a hiccup, I might try to get a blow dryer out. I think I have one somewhere. I don't blow dry my hair. Um, okay, so it's coming off really easy. But again, this was a super old lamp. So it's, it's kind of fraying on me a little bit. So I think when we go to, we'll cut the, we'll cut the whiskers off, but we can always use a little bit of like clear glue or a uh, fingernail polish, or, um, I don't know if I have any of that fabric fraying, um, glue stuff anymore. I don't, we're on a super budget this week. And so, um, my dog is out there barking at raccoons. Um, okay. So far so good. Woohoo! So hopefully the bottom will do that. Oh my gosh. Speaking of lampshades, have you guys seen that girl online? I'll try to find her who does the lampshades. Like, oh my God, she's magic. She must live in a really big city. Um, okay. So what do we have here? Oh, it's, it's two. Okay. It's two pieces of trim that are stacked. All right. And this had tassel on the bottom, but it was missing some pieces. So that's actually why I went to redo it. And I found the price tag was still on it. I leave the price tag on everything. This lamp was only eight bucks. Um, and I went to the Hobby Lobby to get the, um, the new, um, tassel and, and cord. And, um, so I tried to get it when it was like half off week or 40% off week. And God bless the kid. I didn't want to throw a fit that I do think he rang it up wrong or like wrote up the paper wrong because it ended up being like $25. Um, which all in all is still really good for the lamp, but, um, you know, I try to get everything on a budget. Okay. Wow. I feel like we're getting super lucky. So there is going to be some glue residue. So hopefully our stuff is wide enough to cover that up or we're going to have to raise it up a little bit, but, um, it's kind of pulling here. I'm going to try to put my finger on it and hope. Yep. So again, I'm just being real gentle, pulling it off at an angle like I would my painter's tape. I was a painter's helper. Um, the first year I went to self-employment and became a handyman, a private handyman, uh, specifically for the elderly, actually. Um, and then gardener, I was mostly a gardener. And then, uh, the husbands would always come out and be like, Oh, Hey Sam, are, are you good on the ladder? Would you get up? Could you mind getting up on? And, and they'd ask me to do other stuff and Hey, you know, 30, 40 bucks an hour. I'll do whatever you want, you know, within moral compass and within my physical realms and abilities. If I can't do, if I couldn't do something, I wouldn't say that I, that I could. But that's actually how I ended up getting into uh, installing a bunch of the gutter covers for people. And I'll show you my favorite tools for that when uh, we get into our big tool video. So the the trim piece is, is kind of coming up, but you know, we'll we'll cut it off and and glue that back down. But anyways, I was a painter's helper. My friend took me on uh, as their third guy and the gopher. And, um, I don't even think I got to touch a paintbrush for the first three weeks. It was all trimming or trimming, taping. And so you, you had to be a tape master before he let you even touch, touch the paintbrush. So taping things off is everything when you're painting. I know there's some guys that don't need to tape anything off at all. Cause they're like super pros, but I'm not I hadn't done it forever, but I was grateful for the experience and the extra hours because I didn't have enough uh, hours to fill my week or my pay all my bills. So whoo, whoo. Whoo, we got really lucky, guys. So you can see it's frayed and I'll dig some glue and things out and 
we'll get on with the show. All right, y'all. I got my hot glue gun heating up. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and get the yuckies off this lamp. I am an animal owner. And it came with stuff on it. So, just going to do a quick... Okay, I don't know how long that glue is going to take to heat up, but I dug out some clothespins that may help us on our quest here. Uh, this is going to be a first for me. I am using these Gorilla Glue Sticks, highly recommended by my dad's wife, Rebecca. Thank you for giving me these. And... Okay, so this end is taped off. That's how I bought it. I'm actually going to start on the other end where it's sprayed like this. And I'm going to leave it overhanging because I'm going to start my glue here. And then I will cut this off afterwards. And then hopefully it will stop it from fraying. So... Let's see, we're gonna choose where we wanna start. There's a few seams. I'm going to try to pick the pretty side to do the front, but I'm gonna be honest, this has a lot of snags and stuff in it, but my whole house is thrift stuff, so that doesn't really bother me. Okay, so I think I want this to be my front. You know what? gonna say where did it start before I think we'll you know what we'll just pick somewhere and we'll just run we're winging it anyways right okay I think I'm gonna start it here so let's see if our glue is ready oh, we are go we are go we are go. Set me. I wonder if I should have got out those finger covers that I have to help you from getting burned. I'm going to clamp this. Or I put that one dot. I'm going to pause you guys and I'm going to go grab them. Okay, y'all. I don't know how many videos it's going to let me link together. And I don't want to bore you to death with watching me glue this all the way around. So just in case I can't put the first one in, I want to show you I'm using the Gorilla Glue Sticks uh, that my dad's wife, Rebecca, gave me. Thank you. Love you. Um, and I just wanted to give you a tip on what I'm doing. So... Um, I'm running my hot glue bead down the center of this seam. You are going to see some of the old glue because the way this ridge hits, it's actually kind of, oh shit. <laughs> oh, I would do that on camera. I, it's, it works really good to like sit, it, it's, it's butting down right on top of that wire, like perfectly. So I'm, I'm doing that, and I'm sorry, it's, it's really hard to see, but, and then I'm using clothes pins, and then I'm pinning it, and then that way I'm able to just keep working, then I'm flipping it back, and I'm, um, I'm going around, and so it's, it's going really good, I'm, I'm super excited, it's like, it's like my very own version of the leg lamp, yes! <laughs> Okay, y'all, final stretch. So I started on this end because it was frayed. And so um, it's going to overlap where it just is going to sit a little bit to that side of center. That's fine. We're not going to complain. We got really lucky. I'm going to cut this at an angle, I think, um, just to help it blend in. But I am going to cut this tassel off. So 
I'm going to attempt this. I'm gonna cut that tassel off. Oops. And so I'm gonna kind of just hold it with my hand where the end is. I don't even know what this is picking up on camera, guys. Man, we've just gotten really lucky with this lamp so far, so. And I'm going to clip it. I'm going to let it cool. I'm going to cut that, see what it looks like. See, we have a little bit of a overlap. It is what it is. It's an $8 lamp. <laughs> and I'm going to go find a light bulb. And we're going to plug this bad boy in. Drum roll, ladies and gentlemen. Moment of truth. All right. Victory is mine. Until next time, this is Sam, the Midwest Handyman.